it's Marcia again with Then and There. I have some more journals I wanted to share with you. These are um, Traveler's Notebook inserts. They're the standard size, eight and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, they're spring themed. Um, as you can probably tell, there are two different kinds. We have um, one here that's more of a pastel style. There's um, softer colors, more muted. This one is bright, so it has brighter, more bold colors. And so I will just flip through one of each because there's basically, they're basically the same. There's three of each style. So I'll just take two, move these to the side. I'm wearing my um, grungy um, sweater that I only wear around the house. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's really cold in here today. Um, we're having a little touch of um, winter in our spring, which is normal. So... <laughs> Anyways, I will flip through the um, the bright, bold spring first. They each, as you could see, come with this bit of um, eyelet trim to tie them closed. They are made with heavy cardstock covers. I've done I've done some little bit of patchwork um, of fabrics on the cover, a bit of collage with a little label here where you can write a title or year or what have you. Some rickrack and pinned on a little. Um, flower charm. Hopefully you can see that clearly. Um, patterned papers. I didn't coffee dye everything um, because I like the bright color against the, the the bright white against the bright colors. Let's put it like that. <laughs> A little fabric here with some trims stitched on. A collaged index card for journaling and another card here with an image of some flowers. This is from a book, so not all of them are the same. They all have different kind of flowers and some music paper stitched on there. Some stamping, some writing paper, fabric stitched on the side here, a pocket with a, or a little tuck spot with a journaling card that flips open. This is a page from a coloring book. Uh, like a contract that I coffee dyed um, doily, paper doily. Some um, tabs stitched to the edges, some more stamping here. Some vellum, <laughs> my words are not coming as usual. Some patterned vellum there that makes a tuck spot with a um, journaling card on there. So there's lots of room to write, and as well as plenty of decorative elements. The other side of the coloring page, a journaling card just clipped on here with a place to write a title, and journaling on the back. Some more fabric tab stitched on there. A little um, title place there. Some more stamping. Oops, some more stamping. This flips open. Bit of a fabric and lace flip right here. On the other side of the pocket, and I did some stamping on there and put some fabric, just tied some fabric to the edge, and you can do some journaling there. And there's the back cover, and I put my stamp on the the back of back cover of each one. So that's the bright, bright spring. This will be a pastel spring. They'll be listed that way in my um, Etsy. This has a little lace flip here with the little pin. Um, the charm pinned on a chenille um, flower with a vintage button, a little place to write a title or year, what have you, and some lace on there. Open that up. Um, a journaling card, which I stitched around here, clipped on. Some lace stitched on there, and some more, um, uh, yeah, journal cards. This one is a like an index card for recipes. This one says jams, jellies, and preserves. They're each different, but they're all summer related. Um, and the flower images are different, as well as these images. I forgot to mention on the other one, these also came from a book, so each one has a different um, set of images right here. And the, the yeah, <laughs> the collaging on there. Is different on each one. Another coloring page, a bit of um, 
wallpaper and some fabric stitched on there. Fabric tabs. Bit of collage there. This is a vintage envelope, which I turned into a floating pocket um, with a stamped image on the tag. Bit of fabric on the top. This is a sticker, which is made to look like an umbrella to go with the pattern. These are um, also vintage, but I did glue them down. There's a little bit of something on there. There's the other side. You can see <laughs> where this stamp would go. And this just flips open with some stamping. Butterfly. A little pocket here with an envelope which just has a little journaling spot, which I can't open. <laughs> Delight in little things. Another fabric tab. This is a wallpaper pocket. I don't know if I said that or not. A little vellum flip here. A flower sticker, some stamping. Another stamp, a little tuck spot here with a collaged um, deposit slip with some stamping and fabric flipped up that flips up. And this has another paper stitched to it for journaling. Another fabric tab. A vintage um, playing card, which I put some coffee dyed paper on the back of that, and it makes a little tuck spot there. Another journaling card with a space to put a title and some journaling. And there is my stamp on the back of each of those. So those will be listed in my shop by the time this video is up. So if you're interested, you can go check those out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.